Hey guys, welcome back. And now we're continuing the series of our OAuth course. Now, in the previous video, we've explained everything about the communication, the client server communication, the problem that occurs when you're using third party app, and how the OAuth basically solves that problem by acquiring a ticket system and forcing the the third party application to work with that ticket so that way we can bypass our password flow okay so this you see now the the picture that that we described is uh also known as the default oauth flow so there are multiple flows of how the information is basically uh food through the throughout the system throughout the whole process so there are multiple flows and basically every single flow means that the information transition is different. So this is the default one and it's mainly used and we're going to discuss all the flows that OAuth can use. But before that, I want to quickly explain to you what's basically uh, API. So uh, OAuth is working with an API, so you need to know what's an API. So uh, application program interface, which means API, and this is a quick overview from Wikipedia. As you can see, in computer programming, an application program interface API is a set of subroutine definitions, communication protocols, and tools, and so on. So basically, you can uh, go ahead, and if you want to basically read raw theory, you can go to Google Wikipedia and read the whole documentation about uh, the API. Right, so now I want to explain how I see the API and how it's more easy to basically remember and understand. So what's an API? An API is basically the chain for communication between different pieces of software or hardware. API is used just to transport information and bring the response back to the client. And the API can have multiple forms. So what I mean by multiple forms? Basically, since the API is just a chain, the API can be uh, chained in web application, it can be chained in drivers, it can be chained on the very, very uh, low level and operational system level, it can be chained diff uh, between different programs and drivers. And there are really multiple examples I can give for an API. A uh, good example for low level API is the API which stands for between your GPU and your program. So all the libraries there, all the software is so-called API. So the main usage of API is to make developers' life more easier because they do not have to write code about any single piece of software out there. They are coding their job more abstract. That's the point of API, because if the API do not exist, they should code for every different hardware on that planet, different code, because every hardware has its own specifics. So the API basically arranges all of that range of hardware and software and makes the chain between them so they can work. Basically, the API stands between and do not care about the software or the hardware, either do them. The software do not basically care about the hardware in most of the cases when you're talking about the API, it's just waiting for something or sending something. This this signal or data is being transmitted to the API, it converts so that the hardware or the software can understand it, and so makes the chain and communication occurs. So this is the very, very, very easy and overview explanation of an API, and remembering that is just enough. So I want to give you a practical example. So uh, here we are at, uh, let's say, a restaurant, right? So this is us. So the next thing we have is the data or the server. So uh, we are here, we have data right here, the server. And as you can see, we cannot directly interact with the server. So imagine that this is the kitchen of our restaurant and we are the client right here. So uh, in the restaurant, how we basically force the database, the server, to actually work, do something, give us a result and so on with the waiter, right? So the waiter in that case is the API. So we have uh, the client, in that case us, 
the waiter which is the API and we have the server which is the kitchen in that case. So uh, what happens in a very, very practical example is we just make an order, right? We just send or request data. So we do not really care uh, what the kitchen is. We don't really care how much uh, people are there working. We don't really care about the state of the kitchen, about uh, how it, uh, about the tools inside, the oven inside. We do not care about these things. We do not care if the chef is uh, men or women. We don't care about this thing. We just make an order. I want data. I want to uh, request. I'm requesting something. I want that. Right? So we are requesting data. The API, the waiter gets that data, writes it down and goes to the kitchen. So with our data, right? So the API goes to the kitchen with the same data and says, here, I want that. So the data now, the server, sorry, can now start work. The server do not care who want that data. The server do not care uh, to where that data is going to be delivered. The server only uh, care about the, proce the, the procession of that data. So we start processing the information, we start cooking, right? All the chiefs there, all the people working with the kitchen are now starting to cook. And after this is done, the server gets a response back to the API and says, here is your response. In that case, here is your meal. The waiter of the API gets the response of the meal and just delivers back to the client in that case us, and says, here it is. So this is the really simple explanation about the API. I hope you understand. And this is the core principle of the APIs. And this basically can be can be taught in any API technology out there. No matter if you are connecting different pieces of web technology, no matter if you are connecting different pieces of drivers below your operational system, it's working quite the same. The instructions from your video game are processed through an API with the very, very same principle. The process, the process instructions are sent to the CPU and the GPU, and then they are converted and so on. So all the calculations from the game are being uh, sent to a process and so on. So no matter what the case is, we are all talking to the very, very same thing. Of course, the high level APIs are the ones connecting web apps like Instagram, Facebook, and so on. And the very bottom low level APIs are the ones connecting drivers, different pieces of your operational systems. Let's say the, the chain, the, the, the link between your chipset and your hard drive and so on. Uh, the to conversion, the link between the different components on your motherboard and so on. So basically an API is almost anywhere in our system. And this basically saves a lot of time and pain because developers don't need to code for anything out there. The API makes the thing abstract and they don't need to code for any piece of software or any piece of hardware which is available. This is going to be a really painful job. So enough about APIs. Now uh, we are on to, into all out falls. Now we're going to stop the video in the next one. I'm going to explain to you everything you need to know about the falls, different type of falls and when to use what.